I want to bring in 2 News reporter uh, Patty Santos. Uh, you just got back from a shelter this morning where many of these people are now staying. That was one of the Red Cross shelters, and we're told there's about 300 people at the Red Cross shelters. There's about five of them. Um, there's several of them here in Moore and also in surrounding communities out in Ca uh, Newcastle, Norman, and Oklahoma City. Now, there's about 15 people at the shelter that we went to this morning, uh, and they're getting a lot of food. They're also getting a lot of clothing um, and, and some others just necessary uh, you know, hy hygiene supplies. Now, uh, when I was there with uh, one of the Green Country volunteers, actually, there's about nine of them that came down this morning. Um, you know, she tells me there's so much love in this community. There was a Texas man who dropped by yesterday with about $10,000 worth of supplies in his truck. You know, he owns his own business, so he just thought he would drive up here from Texas and, and donate all of these supplies. Now, um, obviously, these volunteers are giving them uh, what they need, water and food and all of that, but they have to also supply them with, with comfort. They tell me they're still in a lot of shock right now and just in disbelief that all of this happened. Um, later this morning, they're going to be rolling up their sleeves and getting to work. Uh, they tell me there's going to be a meeting at that community center where some of the volunteers are going to be coming in and they're going to uh, just be rolling up their sleeves and deciding where they're going to go to make sure that they get the cleanup done and, and get those folks back into their home. So we'll obviously be out for that. Absolutely. Thank you, Patty. We appreciate it. Now